Hey friends, Mike and Jess here. And welcome to Regeneration Nation TV, where we just got done being serenaded by Jeff Castellucci. He always does it, and he did it again. This it was incredible. Chris Isaac's uh, Wicked Games. Wicked or Wicked game, game, I guess. Just Wicked Game, yeah. Yeah, just Wicked Game, Jess. Just you Wicked gotta Game. He was playing Wicked Games with my name. heart. So that's plural. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Wicked Game, such a great song. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so hauntingly beautiful. And this performance by Jeff, this was definitely hauntingly yes. beautiful. I'm gonna have to put that on the thumbnail. Okay, it's it encapsulates it perfectly. It does. That's perfect. That's a perfect name for this reaction for sure. So I think you incredible. Do that <laughs> I can't wait to share y'all, show y'all the the freaking reaction. Mm -hmm. Okay, jaw dropping is, is all I can take say. Take your it was breath incredible. away. He definitely took it in a different direction. He made it his own. It's so beautiful. But yeah, I was I was speechless. Like I just wanted to stare at him. That's all you get is just like tunnel vision. Right to Jeff. Listen, you're a married woman. He's a married man. <laughs> All right. Stairs need I'm to be. about enjoying uh, his Look voice. around at the room a little bit, too. You have to limit your stairs to like three seconds or less. Uh, spoiler alert, y'all. There's not a whole lot in this room that you can look at besides him. So Talking I think he did that on purpose. The room in the video. Okay. Look outside. There was a window. <laughs> Better look somewhere else. You want me to grow my hair out or something? What do I, what do I need to do here? No, it was wonderful. And I'm just, just giving him props. Okay. I'm giving I'm credit where credit Jeff, is due. It's a good looking dude. There's no denying it. Okay. <laughs> I talk a little bit about it at the end. I could admit it. <laughs> I'm but he's so wonderful. He's so wonderful. We definitely left links for him down below. Make sure you go check on him. Subscribe to his Patreon, man. He's got lots of stuff yeah. going on there. He's really good to his fans. And uh, yeah, he's always got stuff pushing out. So we definitely got early links access. To him. Early access to all the videos, yes. dude. Behind the scenes. Definitely go check out his Patreon. We've got, like she said, links to this original video, his channel. Go support him. And voice play. He's he's part of an incredible ensemble mm -hmm. called voice play yes. go check him out the world was on fire and no one could save me but you <laughs> strange what desire will make foolish people do and i never dreamed that i'd meet somebody like you the title for this <clears throat> i definitely was like how is he going to do this with his bass because he can go high he can he could probably sing this just like chris isaac sang it but i was very interested because he's very good at doing it differently and then yeah. switching it up a little bit and keeping you intrigued and i've been intrigued the whole time it's like literally the vibration in his voice is just yeah, like it just keeps you going. It's itching so my crazy. nose. Yeah. I feel like I'm riding in someone's car that has so much bass in it. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Because when you when you hear right somebody here. randomly do that who hasn't been trained to sing that way, it's like they're struggling to get that out. Because if I try to go that deep, it's like I'm, my voice is struggling. But he just makes it sound so like smooth. It's so smooth sounding. Yeah, I'm loving this so far. <laughs> This is one of my 
my favorite songs i feel like of all time I like agree. i it just it's such a heartbreaking song it is. every version of it i've loved mm-hmm. a few months ago i wish we would have reacted to this but i just some things you they come across your feet and you get spoiled on jack black jack black yeah oh my gosh man i got spoiled <laughs> on that one um so good every version mm-hmm. it's it's always different it is and this is no, like, this is very different. Mm-hmm. And it's haunting, and it's just, it's hauntingly It's the way man. the song is meant to be. Yeah, like, yeah. I love it when you can change it up a little bit, but you're still giving it that that, that feeling that you get, that, that vibe that you get when the song is being sung. But I heartache. love that contrast where he went high, yeah. and then he went low, like, real quick. I love that. Oh. The piano is beautiful, but you could just feel heartache mm-hmm. oozing from Jeff in this. Yeah. absolutely freaking incredible there's so many sounds going on in my ear hey y'all jeff here just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and subscribing y'all are the absolute best speaking of best huge shout out to everyone over at patreon who make these videos possible but especially holger draco mythos myths Temma Krempley, helen anderson diane holland sarah o Lori templeman laura Mueller, debbie goodling Jordy S, A.M. Person, Angie Woolard, Carl and Melanie Thomas, Asa M. Lagnishtal and Dorothy Brune, and Debs Badger. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you soon. <laughs> I love that he does that. He's so he's such yeah. a true person. Like he's so like genuine, and he makes sure to acknowledge the people that have been supporting him. And he oh, is doing cool this on his own. on the wall so, right there. That so was really cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's very cool to see. I mean, he's got a good Patreon. Mm -hmm. He's got a very, like, his Patreon is one of the best that I've seen. Yeah. A lot to offer there. So definitely go check that out. He doesn't disappoint ever. So, you know me. I'm always noticing the outfits and the ambiance of everything. But how cool is it that it was a black and white set? And we're wearing black and white right now. (laughs) I didn't even notice. I didn't notice either until I was like, hold up a second. You are the one who picks up on that every time. What? It was we did not just play perfect, this, man. It was perfect. It went way deeper than I expected. Oh, but yeah. I shouldn't 
even have that question that yeah, yeah I shouldn't with him question that yeah at this point he says base in his things every but time went, in his title it went way lighter than i expected <laughs> it man. did that's wow. what i was gonna say is like he definitely delivered with that bassy vibrating down low so tone much that harmonization with itself too like there were so many tracks yeah layered on top of each oh, other yeah i like that points. a lot there was like 80 of him yeah there was so much going time. on i was trying to listen to like, all of it all at once it was so cool it was so different and he definitely took it and he made it his own and it was so awesome and i love that at the end where he was singing deep low and then all of a sudden he went up high and that's that's the thing that i love about the chris isaac original is him singing that high note and it just sounds so beautiful in the middle of middle of this haunting track and yeah. um the fact that he did that just made me super excited he just kind of like paid homage to the original a little bit like just by going into it like, yeah I love for that. sure for sure man he is so freaking talented mm -hmm. not just as a creator but his vocal technique and every way that he takes it is just so amazing yeah to me. like we don't we don't hear a lot of artists like him no that are able to have a beautiful high note like mm -hmm. that but also to go as low like you definitely don't hear artists Not going low. that low mm -mm. but man no, he that's has so much something. range yep he does, and it's amazing. Man. And I love the fact that he stayed independent because I feel like in the music industry right now, they take people and they just kind of like strip them down and they take away the things that make them them and they kind of just do it for the money, do it for the money kind of yeah. thing. So he's able to be super creative, do what he wants to do, and you can see his personality in there. And I think he's just, he's a genius. He really is. He's awesome. Like just the setting itself it was him in a room it was a well-lit white room and he has a black piano and he's wearing all black it just it just it says a lot about what the song is and it just like it was yeah. so rep it was so simple but it was so representing of the song i just thought that was so cool yeah i mean it's really it's commendable that he stayed independent all this time yeah. because if if he was signed to a major label even though they're going to come in and change it he could be one of the biggest artists of all time mm -hmm. you know he's got an incredible voice good looking dude yeah he's very marketable <laughs> yeah. so the fact that he stayed independent mm -hmm. you know and he's able to have the freedom to do whatever he wants yep you know it's 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 very cool yeah it's very very i cool. love seeing that that was amazing guys that was absolutely amazing uh we had some pc issues had to go out build a new pc so it took us a few week a few days to get to this uh we haven't recorded in almost a full week now yeah it's um, so weird being in here but i feel like yeah. it's like revamped so it's nice it to is be in here we've right got now. like new foam up so it's not as echoey and new pc um but yeah that was a stressful weekend but I'm glad that we're finally here, mm -hmm. and sorry it took us so long. But uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed that reaction. Shout out to Jeff once again; he mm -hmm. did his thing. And we're ready for more for sure. Definitely. We'll see you on the next one. Bye, friends. Peace.